Hey, 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 y'all, it's Wilson here, and I want to paint you a picture of grilled blackened fish, y'all. A symphony of spice and smoke transformed by the fire and alchemy of perfect seasoning. It lies in wait, its surface charred, crisp, while the heart still remains tender, y'all. As the grill hisses and the coals glow, the fish takes on a new life, each flake a testament to the hand that prepared it. And each delicious and flavorful bite is a journey to the heart of the sea, y'all. And today we're grilling with a, gra of a dash of rebellion, y'all. Going all out German swinker style, y'all. Just a swinging, y'all, as you twirl it. So get cozy, relax, embrace yourself, because we're speeding through this in lightning speed, y'all. Hey, y'all got our grill going out there. We want to make it about 400 degrees, a little bit hotter. Maybe a little bit cooler, but around there somewhere. And they were making the blackened fish using sockeye salmon brought by Good Chop. Delicious, flavorful, great cuts every time, y'all. Y'all, so what we're gonna do is get our seasonings all put together, y'all. Got one tablespoon of paprika. You want smoked? Smoked? Okay. You, know, you want it hot, hot, mild, whatever, whichever one you want, tablespoon of that. We'll kick it up a notch to the culinary flare here. One teaspoon of cayenne or less. We're bringing the heat today, y'all. I got some hot paprika. I got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're going with one teaspoon of thyme, dry. One teaspoon of oregano, dry. One teaspoon of garlic powder or granulated garlic, whichever one you want. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of kosher salt. Get it all mixed up, y'all. First thing we'll do, we wanna pat it dry, y'all. We'll get that moisture out of it. It's got a lot of moisture in it. And then the second thing we're gonna do is talk about skin. Skin on, skin off. When I'm grilling, I keep the skin on because one, it helps retain the moisture, and two, it basically helps if you start with the skin side down on the grill. Otherwise, what my experience is, you don't have the skin on there and you pull it, it just flakes off and kind of just destroys the whole thing. So we got our skin side on. So what we'll do is we want to get our seasoning put on here. Really want to pack it in really good, y'all. Get it pushed in. Get it spread around. Next up, we're going out on the grill, y'all. See you there. You ever see a recipe where somebody says lightly, lightly oil something? Yeah, this, this ain't this ain't lightly oil. We heavily oil in this. We want our fish to come sliding off. And that skin is still going to be sticking there, which is good. But we, we want that. Fun part about cooking it like this, guys. You just spin her around. We're looking at that thing to be about three, four, maybe five minutes. We'll flip it over. It's time to flip her over. See what I'm talking about that skin? Just falls right off, y'all. I'm going to lay her down just like this. We're gonna get her seasoning, okay? Fire's kinda hot, y'all. We're gonna get that seasoning put right on top of each one. Can we get that in there? Make sure it's all nice and covered. And we're gonna go slide her back over. Give her a twirl. Woo! We're pulling these bad boys off here in about four or five minutes, y'all. It's time to pull these off, y'all. Well, here you have it, y'all. Perfectly plated, not tiny food either. And don't do that. Listen, my dear friends, this is more than a meal. It's more like a moment, memory, force, and a crucible of fire, and definitely flavor, y'all. I'm inviting you to savor the essence of the oceans under the vast canopy of the sky and discover the hidden, y'all, because here this is here is no ordinary meal. It's a celebration of flavors, a moment of culinary artistry, and in each bite, there's a story that connects the land hands that crafted it and just a reminder of simple joys and hey it beckons back to the sea y'all look this recipe is going to be in my latest cookbooks cajun eats and worldly treats of which all proceeds from the sale of the cookbook will be donated to canines for warriors that's caninesforwarriors.org look they are determined to end veteran suicide canines for warriors provides highly trained service dogs Many of those dogs being rescued, y'all, to military veterans suffering from PTSD and trauma. I know that's something you can get behind. 
you're helping veterans, you're helping dogs, and you know, and if you can afford to support those two things, uh, donate to them. The link is below. Or know that by purchasing a copy of Cajun Eats and uh, Worldly Treats, uh, you will be helping make a difference in the world. And especially in a veteran's life, y'all. Let's fight for freedom, uh, stand together, and stand with the uh, Canines for Warriors, y'all. And should you pull that off, I shall proclaim you ruler of Neverland, and I shall treasure you endlessly. Hey, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and get those notifications for my next meal. And always, my friends, the recipe is in the description below. And feel free to reach out to me at Cooking with Wilson. That's without the G because I'm uh, country like that. Gmail, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. To just let me know what you think about uh, today's meal and in the video. And look. Keep, you, keep this in mind, y'all. Uh, we all get better by taking small steps forward every day. We're all going to have setbacks, but let's just keep moving forward. Until next time, y'all.